have a lot of lovely stuff. We're going to have... Establish my covenant with you. Into the world and to do something like build an ark like that God. God is all knowing. That means He knows everything. everything. He went he ahead. Everything. He knows tomorrow. An ark. Like I'm so telling silly. You like you're, you're so seen out. Like you're so but guess what? You know you just made all the same. Right. So and never you feel pressure to do the wrong thing. Never feel like you have to fall. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Solid Rock Children's Church. Um, how was your week? Did you have a good week? And I hope the boys and girls that got the gift last week. I hope you got you liked everything you got. And I hope today that some children are prepared to get lots and lots of gifts, you know, uh, in the church next week. So if you want to be among the people that are going to get, get those gifts, make sure that you pay attention to everything we're going to be doing today. Because at the end of it all, we're going to be, you know, there's going to be the assignment. And once you do the assignment, and you, you, you answered all the questions correctly, guess what? You're going to be getting another gift in church next week, Sunday. So boys and girls, make sure you pay attention. We're going to have the worship time. We're going to have the uh, quizzes. We're going to have a lesson. Pay attention to the lesson because most of the time, this is where all the questions come from. And you don't want to miss out on any you know, uh, any of the gifts you should get. So boys and girls, I'll see you at the lesson. God bless you. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me. All my days have been held.
Let's listen to the memory verse for the week. Hello everyone, my name is Joy and today I'll be doing my memory verse. Matthew 6 verse 25 to 26. Therefore I tell you, don't worry about your life or what you will eat or what you will drink. Don't worry about your body or what you will put on it. Life is more than food and body. your body is more than clothing. Look at the birds of the sky. They don't sow or reap or gather in the barn. Yet your heavenly Father still feeds them. Are you not more valuable than they? Bye. Thank you for watching. For the lesson for the week, please listen carefully. This is thankful. Don't worry. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus did many amazing things. He taught everyone about God's love, healed people from their sickness, and even calmed storms. One day, Jesus was speaking to thousands of people. Hey, Jesus! When someone asked him about money, he told them a story and tried to explain to the people that our treasure is not on earth, but in heaven. Then he turned to one of his disciples and said, That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food to eat or enough clothes to wear, for life is more than food and your body more than clothing. Uh, I guess. Look at the ravens. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns because God feeds them. And you are far more valuable to God than any birds. Uh, yeah, I think so. Do you think that by worrying about anything, you can add a single moment to your life? And if worry can't do a little thing like that, what's the use of worrying over bigger things? That's a good point. Look at all the lilies and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet Solomon, the great king of Israel, in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for flowers that are here today and thrown away tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. And don't worry about what to eat or what to drink. Hey, okay. Many people worry about these things, but God already knows what you need. Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and he will give you everything you need. So don't be afraid, for it makes God happy to take care of you and give you his kingdom. So share what you have with others and give to those who need. There you go. Thank you. Sorry. Hi. Then you'll be storing up treasure in heaven. And when your treasure is in heaven, it's going to be safe. No thief can steal it. Whatever. And no bug can destroy it. Man, whatever. Wherever your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Welcome back, boys and girls. Today's lesson is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, from verse 25 downward up to 34 and Jesus here is trying to teach us that we should not worry about anything especially as children of God we cannot be anxious about anything at all you know God already knows that we are in need of a whole lot of things and he's prepared everything that we need and he's ready to give us everything but we have to exercise our faith we have to show him that we trust in him and we have to rather go to him in prayer and thanksgiving rather than you know getting worried and having sleepless night because of things that we need in fact the book of philippians chapter 4 verse 6 says do not be anxious about anything it says but in every situation in prayer and thanksgiving make your request known to the lord so as children of god we have to know this and we have to be sure you know that our heavenly father would not you know deny us anything we need another the second point i'm gonna make here is that god you know want us to make our priority right the book of matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says that seek ye first the kingdom of god 
and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto us what this bible passage is saying to us is that you know there are a lot of things that we have to seek the kingdom of god is priority you know that is the only thing we have to seek rather you than you know worrying about things that are earthly because we as human beings on earth we only are going to live on earth just for a short time and then we have our eternity you know with God so we want to make sure that what we desire and what we seek after is the kingdom of God and the ways to seek after the kingdom of God is making God a priority making God number one in our life God bless you boys and girls I pray in the name of Jesus that God in himself would would stir up your spirit so that God will be priority God will be number one God will be all that you desire and everything else that you need, God will provide for you. Thank you so much, boys and, uh, boys and girls. So lovely, you know, fellowshipping with you again today. And I hope to see you next week. God bless you. Hi, everyone. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. Right, so... Unfortunately, last week, we didn't have any winners of the last quiz. Hopefully, this week, we will have winners. So, let's get into this week's quiz, shall we? Number one. In his Sermon on the Mount, Jesus spoke of the futility of worrying. Fill in the blanks. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your what you will eat or what you will drink was the blank A daily bread B life C meals D self number two look at the birds of the air they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns and yet mm, feeds them are you not of more value than they what was the blank a god b nature c the lord d your heavenly father number three Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even mm, in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. Was the dash A, David, B, Herod, C, Isaiah, D, Solomon. Number four, and the last question. Your heavenly father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his, mm, and all these things will be given to you as well. Was the blank A, glory, B, justice, C, righteousness d salvation now it's time for the home quiz remember the first correct answer in gets a gift in church so ask your parents to use the email address for the church which is kidszone at solidrockdoblin.org to submit your answer here are the questions so for the home quiz, you're to read Luke chapter 12 and answer the following questions. Number one, according to Jesus in Luke chapter 12, verse one, what is the leaven of the Pharisees? A, hypocrisy. B, greed. C, pride. D. Deceit. 
Number two, in Luke chapter 12, verse six to seven, when Jesus said that five sparrows are not forgotten before God, what does he say are all numbered? A, the stars of heaven. B, the grass in the field. C, the very hairs of your head. D, the sand by the seashore. Number three. In Luke chapter 12, verse eight, Jesus states that whoever confesses me before men, him, the son of man also will confess before whom? A, the throne of heaven. B, the angels of God. C, the disciples of Christ. D, the Jews and the Gentiles. Number four, in Luke chapter 12, verse 11 to 12, Jesus teaches the multitude not to worry about how or what they should answer when they are brought to the synagogues, magistrates and authorities. Who or what does he say will teach them what to say? A, the word of God. B, the Lord. C, the disciples of Christ. D, the Holy Spirit. Number five, in Luke chapter 12, verses 14 to 15, what does Jesus say to take heed and be aware of? For one's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. A, evil possessions. B, money in the bank. C, thieves. D, covetousness. Number six, and the final question for the home quiz. According to Luke chapter 12, verse 21, a man is a fool who lays up treasure for himself and is not what toward God? A. Obedient B. Rich C. Humble D. Zealous As always, the first correct quiz answers in Guess a Gift in Church. So ask your parents to email the church address kidszone at solidrockdublin.org to submit your answer. Like you that are father, like that's God, God. He's all knowing. That means He knows everything. everything. He went he knows ahead. Everything and he knows he tomorrow. An art. Like I'm so telling silly. You, like you're, you're so sitting out. Like you're so guess a, what? You know you're just made all the same, right? So and never you feel pressure to do the wrong thing. Never feel like you have to follow others. Never feel. Like you that are father, like that's God. God. He's all knowing. That means He knows everything. He went he knows ahead. Everything and He knows tomorrow. And art. Like I'm, I'm so silly. silly. Like you're, you're so sitting out. Like you're so but guess what? You know you're just made all the same, right? So I never feel pressure to do the wrong thing. Never feel like you have to follow others. Never feel. Like